a heroic story for Alex Smith returning as the starting quarterback for the Washington football team. Okay, gruesome injury. I don't know what it is about Washington quarterbacks. You got Joe Theismann. You got Alex Smith. Uh, why not? Let's show. Let, let's throw RG three in there. It wasn't that gruesome uh, to watch it, but it, you know, Washington quarterbacks have uh, bad luck when it comes to uh, lower body injuries. And then another one in Kyle Allen this past Sunday. Gruesome. Gruesome. And I wish him the best of luck. And I hope that he uh, doesn't have to go through so much pain and because it, it looked bad. But this season has been quite the season for Alex Smith. Returning after missing a year and a half of football. 17, 18 surgeries later. Having an infection in his leg. It seemed like he was going to lose his life. That's wild. And he, and he recovered well, and he wanted to continue to play football, and now here he is as a starting quarterback. What a story for Alex Smith. How long is this going to last, though, in Washington? That's a real question. He's 36 years old. Definitely not the future of the Washington football team. Th- this contract that he signed in 2018, in his first season with the Washington football team, the, the year that he broke his leg, he signed a four-year $94 million contract. That's a lot of money. A lot of freaking money. And because of that, because he's not the future of the Washington football team, how long is he going to stay around in Washington? My opinion, I feel like Alex Smith's future in Washington, it's 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 coming to an end after this season. Now that it comes down to the business aspect of it, and you've got to go move on with Smith. You've got to move on. You've got to look forward to the future. Uh, I, I f- hope that Smith can continue to play in the NFL. I think his starting quarterback days in the NFL may be numbered just because of the little amount of opportunities that there are out there for starting quarterbacks. But Alex Smith, I I don't see him in Washington much longer. So what's the future for Washington if it's not going to be Alex Smith? Dwayne Haskins, he's going to be gone. He's going to be gone. They've already talked about listening to some trade offers for Dwayne Haskins. Nobody bit. Nobody bit, so I wouldn't be surprised if after the season Dwayne Haskins were to get released. And it's not because of just because of his lack of, of success on the field that has part part of it to do with it, but it's because of his I didn't know this about Dwayne Haskins, but just from reports that I've been hearing, it's because of some locker room personality issues that I'm hearing about Dwayne Haskins, about how he was bragging about his stats about how he threw for 300 yards against the Baltimore Ravens after that loss to some of his teammates. It's because of that. It's because of other instances instances like that that Washington is just ready to move on and just you know wipe it clean and be like, listen, we drafted you mid-round in the first round, and we're, we're done at this point. We, we don't believe you're going to be a, a starting quarterback for us in the future. Man, what a bullet that people that, that the New York Giants dodged. Can, can we just talk about that with Dwayne Haskins? What a bullet that the Giants dodged. Man, they got crap after drafting Daniel Jones with your sixth overall pick a couple years back. I mean, it seems like that it's working out somewhat well. The Giants offense has some work to do, but it's not all Daniel Jones' fault. Get some offensive line help. Get your starting running back healthy. Oh my gosh, my fantasy season. And get some receivers in there. And Daniel Jones will be great, as proven by last season. And fix your turnovers. Yeah, that's you got to fix that. But Daniel Jones, I mean, he got a lot of criticism for the Giants not drafting Dwayne Haskins instead going with Daniel Jones. But I, I think the Giants knew what was up and didn't want Dwayne Haskins to begin with. So the Washington football team is going to move on with uh, Dwayne Haskins and instead might draft a quarterback for the future. And it's not going to be Trevor Lawrence based off the record, based off the positioning of the NFL draft. It's it's instead might be someone like Trey Lance uh, that you draft at, at quarterback. And it could be a project, you know, he's going to be a project to where he's just going to sit behind Alex Smith, potentially if you want to keep Alex Smith for another year and then wait until Trey Lance is uh, is capable of winning games and then put him in. Uh, to the starting lineup. So uh, leave your thoughts down below. Do you believe that Alex Smith is going to have a long future in Washington? Is he going to stick around after the season? And what do you think the quarterback uh, position is going to look like for Washington in 2021 uh, and moving forward? 